Um, Bolivinak, everyone. Uh, my name is Lani, and I'll be presenting alongside Anneli, who's joining me from. Uh, so you can say hi, Anneli. Uh, hi, everyone, joining from the Philippines. Uh, so, Vinak, everyone, so ev put your hands up if you ever heard of OpenStreetMap Foundation. Okay, I think that's better. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, open shit. So, uh, okay, about me. So, I'm Laniata Roktakaya. Everyone can call me Lani, and uh, I've been involved with the Pacific uh, Remote Sensing Council and also OSMPG. And uh, so, we're going to get right into it. So, we'll be like doing if uh, Anneli needs to come in, so she'll be talking also on the presentation. But uh, at first, we were planning, because she wasn't coming, so I had to present here, but if now that we can do online, so she'll be joining me. So what is OSM Foundation? So uh, OSM Foundation acts as the highest legal body in charge of the OpenStreetMap uh, project, and uh, the main goal of the foundation is actually to support, but not to control OpenStreetMap projects. So uh, it's actually dedicated to encouraging growth, development, and also distribution of free geospatial data and also providing geospatial data to anybody to use and share like we all do inside here. Okay. So uh, it's a UK organization and uh, it was actually incorporated in 2006 and it's a not-for-profit organization and it has members instead of stakeholders and it's also not a charity organization. And uh, surprisingly, uh, before Anneli asked me, I didn't know much about Open Street Foundation. So, uh, and it's also registered in England and Wales. Uh, so, uh, the legalities uh, behind the foundation. So, uh, it actually sets policies and uh, guidelines that govern the project, which is in Open Street Map, and also their board members that is actually in uh, um, elected. So, the, what they do is actually. Uh, the uh, board members actually table and deliberate and vote on uh, uh, terms of use, contributor terms, trademark policy, uh, privacy policy, and also organized editing guidelines. So uh, activities that is actually done or carried out by the foundation, uh, annual general meetings, uh, state of maps conferences, which you're currently part of and on the Oceania region doing it right now. And also uh, they do activities that are project funded and also micro grants and also the server operation and maintenance of OpenStreetMap. So who are we, I mean them? So the foundation actually consists of memberships and also board plus several working groups and committees. So these are the board members and the board of, yeah, board of directors for the foundation. So uh, uh, they actually manage the foundation and actually oversee the operation of the organization. And uh, right currently, there's seven members. They are all elected by membership at large. Maybe Annalie could talk more about the board. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, currently we are uh, seven on the board. There are three formal uh, seats uh, being uh, the chairperson, uh, the secretary, and also the treasurer. So, yeah, you can see me from the Philippines, Sarah from Germany there, uh, Guillaume Richard from L Luxembourg or the U.S. He's currently uh, our chairperson. And then newly elected as well is Mateo Konex from uh, Poland, and then Mikhail Maron from the U.S., uh, Roland Ulbrich, our treasurer uh, from the Germany, and um, uh, Craig Allen from South Africa. Back to you. So uh, coming up is a board election, and it's currently ongoing. So uh, they also accept self-nomination, which has opened from 14th to the 21st of October. and. Uh, there's a link down there that could be shared maybe on the website later. So it would be great to actually have a representative from the Oceania region. 
And uh, so for the foundation, uh, so it has a working group. So the foundation currently has eight working group. So they are all volunteer run. So uh, one of it is to deal with communication, data, engineering, licensing, membership, operation, state of map, and also local chapters, which Osgeo Oceania is one of them. And uh, they also have committees. So these are uh, committees that actually carry out specific tasks and projects that is under the foundation and also has, uh, um, yeah, so this kind of, uh, it actually includes, uh, so these committees work on force policy, finance, micro grants, and also software dispute resolution panel and also moderation team. And they have local chapters. So uh, uh, the local chapters are actually independent like uh, Osgeo Oceania. So they come and they come under the umbrella of the foundation. And currently there is 80 local chapters all over the world, 12 of which are in Europe. So come join us. If you love OpenStreetMap, you can become a foundation member or actually join a working group. So for membership, uh, so um, uh, as we are all contributing to OpenStreetMap and it's already valuable in itself, but would be better if you become a foundation member so you can actually get official support for uh, continued success of the project under all OpenStreetMap and also, also influence uh, future direction. So uh, currently the members' uh, main responsibility is actually to elect the board and also vote on resolution. So to become a member of the foundation, you actually need an OSM account. Everybody has an OSM account, right? <laughs> so yeah, that is at least three months and uh, you should have actually mapped at least 16 days and uh, there's a fee that comes up, that comes with the membership, you have to pay around 15 euros. So uh, mainly, the o so uh, this fee is actually to maintain the OSM service and also payment of staff that uh, looks after the server. And currently there's more than 1,500 members under the foundation. And also for good news, if you don't wanna pay 15 euros, you can get it withered. So, uh, but you actually have to be, have, you should have mapped in OSM for at least 42 days. But if you haven't mapped for at least 42 days, you can actually ask for the board for approval if you've contributed in other forms like training, organizing a conference. So support OSM through joining by membership and also through mapping. Uh, like they say, it's free to edit, but it's not free to actually maintain. So funding the future of OSM. Uh, so uh, if you become a member, so why give and why actually join OSM Foundation? So it actually keeps OOSM, OpenStreetMap running the services. And also this helps in supporting OSM volunteers, uh, also by creating uh, better and free softwares. And also this is the way you actually can show your support for OSM and help us also build better maps. Oh, okay, thank you. I think that's the end of the thing. And I think if Anneli has something to add further. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Lani and yeah, thank you that, yeah, I was, I, I'm sorry I wasn't able to join in person, but thank you for the opportunity to present OpenStreetMap Foundation. And of course, thank you for Lani for uh, helping us uh, presenting this. So yeah, if, if yeah, just one thing I'd like to mention, uh, as, as Lani mentioned earlier, the current uh, OpenStreetMap Foundation is currently doing its election. Uh, the self-nomination uh, is only for a week. Uh, it started 
October 14 to October, uh, and will end uh, this October 21, just this Saturday. I know, yeah, all of you here are, uh, you know, busy in your, um, in, in the conference itself, but yeah, I'm encouraging, you know, if any one of you or you know someone from, specifically from Oceania regions who, who is uh, wanting to be, wanting to run a selection board that I think that would re really be, really be uh, a great, um, addition to the board membership. So yeah, as you know, currently, yeah, uh, we, 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 th there's not a lot of um, uh, representation in the OSMF board, uh, if, even in the local chapters as you've seen in the map before. So yeah, also encouraging communities from the Oceania region um, to apply as a local chapters. And yeah, if you are uh, interested in running for board, yeah, you can you can reach out to me. Maybe yeah, Lani can send my uh, send my contacts there or yeah, just yeah. So thank you so much, and yeah, we're I, I'll be here for uh, questions. Hi, Lani and Anili, that was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, that really affordable membership fee, is that a, an annual fee? Yes, annual. Oh, that's a fantastic thing, isn't it? We should all be doing that, right? Hey girls. <laughs> can you Hi. see me? No. Oh. I can only Guess see who? <laughs> Guess who? Anyway, yeah, Arnali, I saw there that the, the the ways that you could contribute to uh, the foundation is uh, donating fifteen dollars or is that the membership fee itself? Membership. It's just for the membership. But as OSM contributors, are there other ways that we could possibly support? Uh, because it's kinda scary if everything falls down and the hard work that contributors have been given uh, throughout the years. Like, uh, do you have any recommendations how us community organizers uh, from in, uh, on the ground can support the OSM Foundation uh, in this? Yes, I think, yeah, I can, I can uh, answer that, Lani. Yeah, thank you for your wonder, for your great, uh, great question. Yeah, so there are other, other than being a member, you know, paying for the membership fee, also editing the map and everything. I think you've already contributed in a lot of ways uh, for OSMF, like, yeah, doing some mapathons, training the new mappers, um, promoting the use of uh, OpenStreetMap for good. So, yeah, those are the things that, yeah, I think it's really valuable. It's not directly mapping uh, in OpenStreetMap, but yeah, it, it really yeah, helps in promoting um, the OpenStreetMap project itself. And yeah, you can also join, we do have working groups. Uh, you can go to, yeah, you, you can go to the uh, OpenStreetMap Foundation um, because yeah, there are different ways on how to join them. So yeah, if you can go to that and yeah, also, yeah, as I've mentioned, um, being, yeah, being part of the board member, <laughs> being part of the board is also a way to contribute. Um, yeah, because, yeah, you, being a board member, uh, you directly, you know, support uh, the future of the foundation and also the direction of, of the OpenStreetMap um, project itself. You, yeah, you get to work on policies on data, uh, also with communities, you get to work yeah, with uh, communities and local chapters. So yeah, but yeah, I know that, yeah, a lot of you here, uh, OSGO Oshada has, yeah, has helped organize this wonderful uh, event. So yeah, that, that is, yeah, part of contributing to OpenStreetMap, not just your edits. Thank you. Hey, oh, hi. Uh, Hello, sorry, over here. Um, uh, just, just um, thank you, thank you for a great paper, by the way. Um, 
in relation to the 16 days of contributing, uh, how, how is a day defined? And if, if, if I had like a bunch of edits that I wanted to make, should I stagger it over 16 days to <laughs> <laughs> meet the criteria? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there. So yeah, there is a timestamp. So that's from when you applied. Yeah. So that's for the fifteen euro waiver fee. But then, if if you have forty two more than sixteen, you know, forty two mapping days already, you can actually uh, uh, apply for the active contributor um, program. Sorry, the the sixteen. The 16 mapping days or the 42 mapping days is yeah uh, during the the last year um, of mapping in OpenStreetMap. So you do have to have a 42 active mapping days. I hope yeah I hope that is that answers your question. Hey, hi. hi. <laughs> it's like tennis. <laughs> um, so. There are a lot of um, other organisations using OSM, and they're using it for commercial purposes, etc., like that. So, do you does um, that mean that you get money from them? Do they support you effectively? Uh, we do have corporate members as well that yeah contribute or you know fund is helping us funding us and also some you know tech technicals that they donate to us so yeah some there are yeah organizations that support us you know financially uh, technically they also so some organizations also have some paid staff that support our working group so yeah there are yeah there are lots of ways that they support us um, but yeah uh, you can do so you can see who our um, official corporate members uh, through the OpenStreetMap uh, foundation's website. 